So let's just switch gears now. Um, you know, because we see where JFJ also intervened in the the killing Russia Russian Barnett. Um, you know, the DPP was advocating or suggesting, I don't know what's the t- proper term, but the death, me- the death yes. penalty for him. But JFJ is against the death penalty. And thanks so much. And I want to make some things absolutely clear mm-hmm. about mm-hmm. that. Our position on death penalty, as you can imagine, we're a human rights organization. Mm-hmm. But there are different rights that we look at. Um, we look at the rights of the victims mm-hmm. and their families mm-hmm. and ensuring that justice is served. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But we also have principled position as an organization. And one of that position is against the death penalty for different reasons. Um, on the basis that a right to life is sacrosanct. And therefore, the state should not be in the business of killing anybody. Even a murderous sociopathic serial killer like <laughs> Roshan Barnett, allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> You know, we say this, we don't mm-hmm. condone mm-hmm. any form of criminality whatsoever. So the, we condemn it completely. Mm-hmm. And when we look at the high levels of crime rate, for example, we have seen where, you know, we all need to be outraged mm-hmm. about it. You know, every morning we wake up, you hear another, another story. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I remember personally when the, the death of the five persons mm-hmm. were, were, were brought to the public space. Mm-hmm. I remember going home and I hugged my son mm-hmm. and I hugged him tightly. And he said to me, oh, you hear about the killing? Not true. Oh, wow. You're squeezing Wait, me to death. Your son? He's, he's, he's 14 now. Oh, your son yeah. is out. Horrible. <laughs> so he was like, you hear about yeah, it. No, you yeah. can't let me go. I'm fine. Wow. You know, because it, 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 it shook you. I don't mean to laugh, but no, I, such a teenage thing. Such a teenage, yeah. Yeah. Well, so, me leg off, I'm <laughs> yeah. When you yeah. bring excitement, yeah, come, yeah. Come yeah. Work, oh, you know, yeah. but, but that is the impact that these things have on you sure. completely. Mm. But we have to separate it from, from our perspective and mm-hmm. say, we want the family to get justice Mm -hmm. wherein if this young man is indeed guilty he should within the remit of the law if he's so convicted see the justice system giving him possibility of life imprisonment that is what the sentencing guidelines of our justice system allows Mm -hmm. but we believe you can see justice without recourse to a death penalty that is our position many people would say that life for him Mm-hmm. is too good like mm-hmm. him living in prison in the tax like being fed taxpayer money mm-hmm. and hosed and you know i'm sure they get because they're prison is human rights like yes. if you're in prison you're still you know uh, and not only that is heinous acts are beyond reform yeah. in, in in a lot of people's eyes in, in a lot of people's yeah. eyes you yes. would go into you know but i mean the sentencing guidelines um are very clear mm-hmm. in law but is it that well, i was trying to even, sure um figure out like is it that we it's just that we stop hanging, but it's not hanging isn't like completely gone away. So I will book. say it's still on the books. Yeah. The last hanging we had was in 1988. Right. Mm-hmm. And there are a couple legal cases that came out. Mm-hmm. Um, some of them are no longer relevant mm-hmm. because our charter of fundamental rights and freedoms Adam in the constitution okay. um, basically made the principle of, I hear everybody talking about Pratt and Morgan, mm-hmm. for example, to say the date from which the death penalty was imposed. If five years has elapsed, um, then automatically that death sentence is commuted to life. Mm. That no longer has any basis in law because the charter overturned that possibility. Mm. Nevertheless, there are still some principles and sentencing guidelines that we are guided by mm. that perhaps would still make the death penalty very difficult to impose. So the first thing a judge or a court would have to consider if Mr. Barnett or anybody else is so convicted and the death penalty was sought, firstly, and this is not just JFJ's position, no, this is what is in the sentencing guidelines by the court. Mm. Is this person beyond social reform yeah. mm. or rehabilitation? <laughs> They're guided by different things. They're guided by age factors. They're guided by prior bad acts, for example. Instead of him father. Uh, 
I, again, these are all allegations. <laughs> Come on. Um, mm-hmm. But the court will consider these yeah. things. Mm-hmm. You will consider, um, you know, psychosocial um, assessments mm-hmm. and, and, and so on. The other thing is this principle, and you perhaps would have heard it from a Trimmingham case, as it is called. The rarest of the rare and the worst of the worst. Mm-hmm. Now, as gruesome as this particular case is, mm-hmm the court will have to consider, is this the worst situation that we have heard of? Is this the rarest of murders that we have heard of? Baby. And so on. I'm just telling you what the courts will consider. Mm. And unfortunately, based on where we are in society and the levels of depravity mm-hmm. that we have had, it is going to be very difficult to meet that threshold. No matter how much we're emotional about this, you know, mm-hmm. this is not a JFJ position. I'm just is it what the difficult, law says. No, what makes it difficult? If it's that we um, can go through history and point towards, okay, this... Because they've had other cases before mm. that the death penalty was sought and it was not upheld because the court decided, I think this one called Douglas in 2011, the court decided that, tell her what, as gruesome as this case is, I think in that particular case, you had a couple who was sleeping and the person stabbed the, the individual multiple times, mm. if I'm not mistaken. Um, please research it, the yeah. Douglas 2011 case, um, and, and so on. But it upheld the Trimmingham principle, mm. where the court decided that this is not the worst of the worst and the worst of the rare. So that's I, I'm just telling you that mm. this is what the no. court will be looking at. And the third and important thing is what I mentioned earlier. The court is going to be deciding, based on the matters or the facts of this particular case, is the sentencing of life imprisonment, for example, not sufficient? Do we need to go to the death penalty? Mm. These are the three criteria that the sentencing guideline would ask the courts mm. to consider. From a JFJ perspective, mm-hmm. as I stated before, our position is very well known on the death penalty. I don't think it should have been any surprise to anybody because mm-hmm. we've articulated this people take this and say you're going to bat for this. Yeah, and, and, and we were not batting for anybody it, at all. You balance it because there, there are people out there mm-hmm. who made the statement that, you know, you guys are advocating for... The, crim- the, the, the criminals, the accused. And most know? human rights organizations yeah. do face that accusation yeah. across so the world. So how the balance? I mean, I don't because the really balance mean. is the right to life in mm-hmm. that situation. As but I stated... Died, but he took life. And, and, and remember, mm-hmm. you know, one of the arguments for us being against the death penalty is that the, the country and the state in particular should not be in the business of retribution or vengeance. But it's just That should it's... not... Justice in our estimation should be... If this person is convicted and the facts of the case is very well known, mm-hmm. then we believe life imprisonment. And remember, you have life imprisonment without the possibility of parole. Mm. Can very well be imposed. Um, you know, I made a statement publicly and I think persons misunderstood when I spoke about rehabilitation and social reform. Yes. It wasn't within the context that we were going to socially reform this person and release well, them. That's how people interpreted it. That wasn't it. Yes, yes. Because remember, even when someone is incarcerated for life, we do believe in reform behind the prison system. Mm. Because these are not animals, no, these are human rights. And in our constitution, it says human beings, no matter what, are still deserving of dignity. Okay. You, that's know our what, you know what I make this statement? It palatable to the people that are out yes. there if it did spring clean say who for touch i'm little you know like <laughs> while well, i like i we would we the jail jail say you know we can't like we can't talk not. because I don't have one. and your constitution not, say freedom from torture for and talk. inhumanity me in you know, the business are touch no so we can't make them live on torture them your constitution of them, prevents the state from doing them, that as me. well it does they're, they're too swift you Probably think so? that you tattoo. They're too sweet. But you Touch, know, I, I, I heard a lot, of, and and you know, persons call the office. I told I, I took the time to answer a number of phone calls. Wait, people mm. call you angry about your statement. Yes, mm. and I, I took I, the time I, as, I as, as possible mm-hmm. to to answer Can just them imagine. And, and explain. <laughs> Wait, what what were the calls like? Can you have ideas like? Um, was it like derogatory were, were pejorative? obscene language oh my right God. throughout? Oh um my and. God. You know, it, it takes patience to be yeah. in this kind of work. We can read some just on the comments on the Jamaica <laughs> Star article. <laughs> the man mar- murders four children and their mother, you talk about reform. It seems like JFJ picks and chooses who they bought for. Yes. What else is new? 
Mm-hmm. You know, come inside that, yeah. I'm sure. Mm-hmm. And, and those are the better ones. Yes. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. So as I said, um, you know, my son and I, we have this conversation as well. And, and, and he's 14 now. And he's like, I'm for this. Mm. And I have this conversation with him. And he says, an eye for an eye. Mm. And the same thing about vengeance. And, and, and his, I, I, I countered him on. And, and he said, no, mommy. When you look at it as well, you know, this will prevent people from committing um, Other inner side, and, and I said no oh, yeah. the evidence is suggesting True. quite the contrary because even United States that still um, retain people, the, yeah. the death penalty we have saying, seen yeah. 70% decline in the utilization of death penalty in the United States though it remain on the book we can look to Canada for example when they removed the death penalty from their book the crime rate went downward and I, I can't remember the caribbean um, one of our neighbors mm. um, who have removed it at, at the moment but we look at it and, and i and i tell people very practical if someone is committing a heinous crime do you think in the moment they're going to be saying let me not kill because the death penalty is on the books if you just think about things in very practical ways so mm-hmm. it's no deterrence to crime whatsoever mm. so we have argued and unfortunately for and persons to just look you, at things you saying very, whatsoever is a bold strong say, statement it's not mm. evidence suggests otherwise mm-hmm. so i'm also guided i don't have the evidence or the data you say Jamaica whatsoever because i'm sure there's probably some other evidence that points towards it working mm-hmm. other cultures and but you know persons have areas. quoted me on this and i, and I take the point mm-hmm. where they say you can't necessarily compare canada so just like that exactly. because you have other interventions in play and, mm. and i say and to persons as well that is my point yeah. that i'm making mm. that for crime to be reduced generally other we need the social interventions and like it mm. or not you could have death penalty on the books mm-hmm. and you utilize it mm. a roshan barnett situation would not have been prevented with a death penalty but then, that I is mean, the reality i guess the thing is we're not saying that you're supposed to kill People who probably have, um, you know, like crimes of passion, like people who kill for a way out. But there are definitely sociopaths, psychopaths, clinical Mm -hmm. people on the the spectrum, you Mm -hmm. know, if you do um, psychological and then the system has has, has space that for they that. will not be reformed. So why instead of like why why still? Remember that is why an assessment prison. is done and so on. And remember, in any prison system across the world, you have high risk yeah. prison systems, right? Yeah. Mm. Um, placement. So in that situation, there are provisions already that would address some of those things. Mm-hmm. And the other thing I say to persons that with death penalty being imposed for a justice system that is so flawed as ours. Mm-hmm. Unless you can have that 100% assurance mm-hmm. that no mistake will be made, how can you then impose and the death I mean, penalty? I've always heard that argument, and I agree that every, I mean, the just, every justice system across the world is not 100% yes. um, effective. effective. Mm-hmm. Like, there are several innocent people housed and jailed in prisons um, across the world. But the thing is, it's just how, <laughs> like, Mm-hmm. When somebody like Russian, who suffered for, for the most part, and we, we say allegedly, but he has really admitted yes, the confess. killing of yes. the family, why are we still like trying to reform? I mean, him? but that's one argument, you know. You know. Like, yeah, like. But remember, my other argument is that got through the system, yes. maybe that like, got through the trials and whatever, mm-hmm. and them still as to them innocent, them innocent, then maybe not. We can say, well, all right, if that's the case, we mm-hmm. won't. He has pleaded guilty Mm -hmm. um, already, Mm -hmm. um, certainly. So the argument about innocence and so on perhaps would not be in this particular context. Mm. But as I stated earlier, from a JFJ perspective, we believe that the right to life ought to be respected and simply the state ought not to be in the position of taking life. Absolutely not. So how do you tell the the victim's family that we're not advocating for... The person that kill you but we're just saying that you know let him not and and we have stated it i mean you know i i hear calls about why weren't we at funerals mm-hmm. and, and and all of that mm-hmm. um, sort of thing but can you imagine when we have made a public statement against the death penalty if we had shown up how that would have been an insensitive approach to the family mm-hmm. Um, and we would have had nothing to offer to the family in that moment. Mm-hmm. Yes. So I, I put that in context. But we grieve with the family from where we are. And we hope 
that the family would be getting the necessary psychosocial support because this is something I believe that threw the entire community for a loop. And I think there was another murder, gruesome murder, yeah. um, done by Clarendon as well. So mm. it was something that the entire community perhaps would have been grieving around. Yep. So we stand with the family. We hope that they get the justice with the person who is who had pleaded guilty. That person, if so convicted, we hope that the existing sentencing of up to life imprisonment will suffice. So but, JFJ no, no make no um wait I say no mm -hmm. excuses or not excuses, exception, that's the word. No, if you have a principled position, um there is no excuse or, or, or exceptions. And you know, when I mean, when the God first no issue you know, but then you know he was No, we can't. I mean yeah, you know, when the first issue came up, I will tell you we had a debate in the office. Mm -hmm. Should we speak mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. on this matter? And I remember one of the conversations we had. Remember, JFJ has been speaking on death penalty about three weeks before um, this this matter. And, 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 and I wouldn't even go three weeks. On March 30th, we had an event where the Minister of Constitutional Affairs, um, Minister Malahu Ford, Ford, was at an event. And I, I stated publicly then on behalf of the organization that we're not for the death penalty. We spoke out against the prime minister's statement about reimposing death penalty for gun offenses. Because I think, you know, crime rate is high, you're talking mm -hmm. to the mass and so on. Mm -hmm. And we lambasted that statement. Now, for us, here comes a very real case. If we had not spoken, it means that you have no principle mm -hmm. as an organization. And the basis of of a principled approach is that if you have a position that you believe in, it cannot change or waver because of public outcry or backlash. Do you personally believe in the death penalty? I normally don't state my public views on certain issues. Okay. Mm. I speak for the organization, mm -hmm. but I will say this, and you can take from it what you will. Most of JFJ's position I believe in as its executive director. Okay. okay. I see that in, in the statement about Russian that mm -hmm. you, you pointed towards his age. Yes. And also the, the fact that he confessed. Basically to point towards him being not beyond. Reproach. Um, reform. I'm saying these are things for the court to consider. Mm. Remember, being not a psychologist or a counselor. But do you think that these are, are indicators, like his age, like if it was an old person? These are normally him. indicators. Mm. You look at one's um, age, you look at one's psychosis, mm. as, as you outlined earlier. You look at prior bad acts. You look at possibility of remorse mm. for one's action. Um, those are normally indicators that the court will look at to see if someone is beyond rehabilitation mm. generally as an organization we believe that most persons can be rehabilitated mm -hmm. uh, we have argued for rehabilitation where persons rights can be respected if they are to be reintegrated into society and as i stated earlier even those who are incarcerated for life we believe that reform is necessary because there are other things that you can do you can talk about prison work program for example to put people to to, to, to economic use, mm -hmm. if you want, for a better word. So they can contribute to society, though they are behind bars. So, Slavery. Not at all. Yeah, not at all. Because remember, Slave of the state. No, I'm not at that. all. Not at all. Because we're not talking about exploitation. Why? Remember a lot of people behind yeah, yeah, yeah. bars. With, 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 no, with certain no, no. Cases That's like not this. what we're for. Because okay, a, a, a number, no, a number of, no, we have seen exploitation certainly yeah, yeah, yeah. in other countries. But what we're talking about is giving people an opportunity for livelihood and contribution because mm. a number of people are parents as well. You still have kids that you're contributing to outside and you want to see how best they can still contribute to their families. That's what we talk about rehabilitation and contribution of mm. someone and respecting their human dignity. This is not a feel good thing and so on. And that's, I think, a lot of people lambast us and say, why should I talk here if here is stuff? Yeah, because right? people say like, why should we respect his human dignity when he didn't with the four that he murdered uh, and, and, or five and, and killed? And this is a thing with human rights that we have to it, that you have to balance so and I feel like that's but respecting the, one's yeah. human dignity doesn't mean that you respect their prior bad act mm -hmm. or you condone it I guess that's what people misconstrue right? and that's what people tend to misconstrue uh. human dignity means no matter what your race your class your color the amount of money you make 
and so on. You as a human ought to be respected just the same. Now, if it is that you are convicted of any crime, you have certain restraints already, you know. Your freedom of movement, clearly, it has been restrained because you can't move about, you're behind bars. Mm. There are certain conditionalities, again, depending on your risk profile, that would be assigned to you if it is that you're so convicted. So there are provisions already in law that deals with these things, right? Mm. So we're saying that even if someone is incarcerated, the fact that they're a human being, you have to treat them as such. You're not supposed to have them being denied medical care or treatment because they're behind bars. You're not supposed to have people being beaten by any yeah, state officials. Them, um, no, mistreat, we don't condone those things. And, uh, But who's going to know? <laughs> like, uh, and, and nobody's going to know. Gonna know, know, know. I, I say to <laughs> Person, treat them in a bar, let us we'll remember Noel Chambers. Them, no. yeah. Remember Noel Chambers? Anybody remember that? Um, no. You remember? We don't remember when we were all outraged um, two Guess years ago with Noel Chambers, yeah. a mentally ill man who was behind bars. Yes. And everybody <laughs> saw the photos of this man, bones yes. and yeah. skin. Yeah. That is what we mean by we not treating people. Okay. Poorly. I don't think people are really, you know, you see? Feel, I don't and let me feel use my one that. line and I find it very profound, not uh. because I, I think of it myself, right? <laughs> 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 But mm -hmm. I think sometimes we believe in human rights based on who we believe to be humans. And we have to be very careful because I will talk to persons Fair. who say, mm. I believe in human rights, except for the LGBT. I believe in human rights, except for the people in the inner city communities. I believe in human rights, except for, except for, except. So we have to be careful. It's either we have a fundamental belief mm -hmm. or we don't. But I'm not saying is, we want a variation. Yeah, in areas of gray. Yeah. Areas of gray. Right? Because yeah. putting, I, I, I say to persons, I understand that, um, especially religious views and cultural views and so on, but it doesn't mean that we have the right and the audacity to be treating certain people mm -hmm. poorly we have to be careful and, and and i and i and i want to bring into perspective i remember we spoke on a particular issue with this soldier who kicked the woman in the her the woman. pregnant yeah. woman mm. and persons called the office and and and, and you can go on our instagram pages you'll see the <laughs> comments yourself mm -hmm. and they said this is what jfj do because the whole of the community them everybody done there If you bond them up and, and, and I'm like, how can you be saying that yeah, persons are violent, that, no. <laughs> but you're preaching violence against a group of persons. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when you look at it, the crux of the matter is also discrimination against persons in the inner city on the basis of social class. Mm -hmm. Because we categorize everybody in the areas as criminals and undeserving. Mm -hmm. And we have to be careful about what we're promulgating as a people is the point I'm making. So we can't be selective about human rights from, from J. You're right. I mean, and, and, and I'm not saying that, but there are just certain cases and instances, especially with this Roshan Bar yes. per, Barnett person. It's so clear that I'm not saying that we should probably just do our well. Mm -hmm. He's maybe be not be he's be I think he's beyond reform, you know, and I think he's because he committed such a heinous act, like yes. a 23 month old baby, mm -hmm. him slit the throat off. Like, I mean, you don't get yes. no more gruesome than mm -hmm. that. You know, so it's like, yes, he's a human, but he's a flawed human. And what you do with flawed people, flawed things, you throw if it if away. If, if, if they're so convicted, life we imprisonment without away. parole is there. We throw it away. <laughs> we throw it <laughs> away. <laughs> you don't get dashed a long time soon. <laughs> And it's fine if I'm a flawed human being, you know, like. That's just a principle, yeah. Okay, I mean, if, if and, we stand and, by the know, principle and, and of flawed, the human beings are holy for human beings. I get that, yes. Right. Your, your freedom to express yourself for uh, we, our flawed skill. We can disagree here, yes. And that we need for our flawed, uh, a flawed skill. <laughs> I don't need the, 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 the scout yeah. of them for the for But, see you know, the power to level. To bring it back, I just yeah. think our justice system generally is way too flawed mm. Mm. to be doing certain things. And even if it is fixed, I will still counter. But for now, <laughs> I think it is way too flawed because there is no, oops, I'm sorry, I killed you. Mm. To put it simply. But he... 
But you see, that's what people are saying, like, yeah. But you see, you go down the slippery person. slope when you have certain things on the books just the same. And, 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 and you know, I don't want to get into whether or not innocent or guilty for him. Um, mm-hmm. That's his attorney's role. Mm-hmm. Um, but we just have to be mindful about circumstances that persons can also make statements. Fair. Fair. No missionary, me no depend, no mission. A very necessary change position. In a belly where me gone, very wet and very warm. Give me head and collision Make she make a decision Man revolt in his hand Me have to make it all this time Everybody have a good kids fine Just I hold my own Till my time come around Still the pressure is on But I keep holding on You know how many I ain't said People are going like the perfect light Them life is all magnificent Touch with the make me in a heaven But me wanna make me a live a hell me want to call you for we rent One call for the line to unleash Clown just chop on the street It a keep on up in a road black Have something for the cheat Can't leave it for the trap Have a yard up the trees Gucci down from me head to me feet Gucci Clutch a girl send the gears with me beat 